Hey, hey, Queen City Minis and more fans. Welcome back, guys. So we're talking about the Nords today with the Ulf Hedner. So, guys, these are on pre-order through Parabellum's eShop. If you want to get your own set, use code Queen City at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. You can either do that through using the QR code here or the code down below in the links. Anytime you use this code, guys, it does help the channel out. We are looking at getting a new mixer for our audio, so it would be awesome if we could get any help possible. And speaking of helping the channel, guys, make sure you subscribe down below to get featured in any of our giveaways. Also, we have a Patreon, so check us out, guys. All the proceeds from that do go to help the channel, and we greatly appreciate all of our patrons. And speaking of patrons, we have Sean M., guys. He was our very first one, and we are very, very excited to have him. Now, going into today's content, we're talking about the nerd, Nords, not the Nerds, Ulf Herdnar. So, I'm going to mispronounce his name, and that's okay. Alright, but, but, these guys are coming in at a whopping 210 points, but they bring a lot to the table for those 210. So, these guys can be a mainstay for the Jarl, or a restricted option for the Shaman. So, they're infantry unit. Cla um, clash medium, movement of 5, velocity of 1, clash of 2, attacks 8, wounds 4, resolve 4, defense of 2, and an evasion of 1. So they have the bloodlust special rule and the lethal demise special rule. Now bloodlust says that you must charge something if you are within range to do so. If you do not wish to do that, you must pass a resolve check. So an interesting rule for these guys. Now with a resolve of 4, especially if it's a bigger unit that can jump up to 5, a lot of times they're going to pass that resolve check. But that could be really bad if they don't, especially if you're at the max distance for a charge, you roll really low, and you just waste an action, and then you can't charge again that turn. So something to really watch out for with these guys. But it does allow you to charge on the turn you come in. So if you can align it correctly, move in from the table edge, and then cause a charge with these guys, it's going to be a really clutch move in certain games. Now, one of the things I do like about this, too, is they have the Lethal Demise special rule. So when these guys start dying, they start doing hitbacks. Super cool ability, one that I'm happy to see come to the game more, and something that I really can't wait to see on the tabletop. Alright, so these guys have the stand standard of three stands when you first get them. You can purchase additional stands as well for 70 points. Now, something interesting that has come up recently is Parabellum has said that the models per stand is actually something important to the game aesthetic. So they are enforcing in their tournaments and events the models per stand. So those of you out there that are doing three models per stand, just know that if you go to a Parabellum Run event, you may have some issues with that, okay? Now, you can take two officers with these guys. You can take the Savage and the Gothi. So the Gothi, the Regiment game is Blessed and Devout. That's really cool, especially if you're running the Shaman to help get those spells off, as well as give you some extra rerolls. And then the Savage, you gain the Double Time Draw event and the Flank Special Rule but does not go to a character that's attached to it. So those are some really cool little abilities, especially with Bloodlust, that can kind of give you those gotcha moments when you come in off the table, which I think is really cool and going to add a lot of tactical flexibility to this unit. So let's get into our final grade for these guys. So I'm really excited for these guys. I actually give them a whopping A. I think they're going to be great. I think they're adding a ton to play value for the Nords army themselves. They're really tactical to use. I think that you combine them with the Gothi with four stands. With them coming in with Vanguard and Double Time, they're going to get that move up. They're going to absolutely get a flank charge off with Blooded the turn they come in and really throw your opponent for a loop, which is the big thing that Nords have always done in the past. They're really good about getting in there really fast and doing a lot of damage and s hopefully scoring a bunch of points before your opponent is able to bring in reinforcements. I think it's going to be a really cool unit to see on the table and I can't wait to see what people do with it to be honest with you. But guys, let me know what you think down below and if you haven't done so yet, guys, make sure you uh, subscribe. It'd be awesome if you like this video and share it with your friends. Check out all of our other content here on the channel and let me know what you think down below guys. Hopefully you stick around. Hopefully you do some more stuff here you like. And I can't wait to see you again. Alrighty guys, Queen City Minis and more. Signing out folks.